Yeah. I'm doing great. Good to see you, man. Welcome back to New York. It's good to be back. It's like just before six in the morning. I'm out running. I still run every day. It's the greatest, it's the greatest running in the city. Man, does it feel good to be back? AC. What's up? <laughs> oh my God. Are you AC Yeah, how you doing? Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. Alright, let me share with you like just some of the details about the how and the why of us returning to New York City. I guess, I guess like the most simplified way to put it is that it was less that we didn't like it in California and much more so that we realized how much we love it here in New York City and how much we miss it here in New York City. And not just Candace and me, but the kids too. For sure the kids too. We did, you know, we did really well. We did well in LA, we made friends, things were going great. But I had this like longing for New York that just wouldn't dissipate. And anytime I talked to Candace, she'd say, yeah, me too. And then poor little Franny missed her friends and all that. So th there's one particular moment, COVID hit. And then if you remember like that June or that July was when there was all the demonstrations and then there were riots and then there was looting and New York City got really worked over. And I remember like calling my friends in the city being like, what's really going on? I'm seeing it on the news. And it was just like, you know, I was getting all this different information. I didn't know what was going on here. And I'm not very good at a lot of things. But one thing that I'm really good at is sharing like my New York City experience. I was here on September 11th. I was here during the blackouts. I was here during Hurricane Sandy. I I've always been here through like the good stuff and the bad stuff. And to not be here when the city was just getting shit on like that was really tough. I don't know, it's like, it's easy to love something when it's great, but it was when this city was like down and out that I was like, man, I can't believe I'm not there. We've been back for like three weeks now. It's been a, a, a tumultuous three weeks and that's an understatement, but it's still like every day I wake up, it feels like Christmas morning every day. There's something to look forward to. And I realized the whole time I lived here, I felt that way. I never didn't feel that way. Nice to see you. Good to see you too, man. Take care. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh my God. Check out this truck. Are they chasing tornadoes with this thing? You got the bull bar, you got a winch, knobby tires, you got the windows taken out, satellite dish. We don't get tornadoes in New York City. Yo, what are you guys doing? Trying this rail. On a pogo Street stick. Pogo. Wait, it keeps you nice, yeah. Yeah, what's up, guys? Oh, shit. So this is extreme pogo sticking? So this is, he's a rail specialist. Obviously, so he's a rail grind specialist. specialist, so yeah. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Hi, I'm Casey. Hi, I'm Emily. Thanks so much. Yeah, hi, hi. nice to see you. That's it, what's up, man? What's up? No! What's up? How are you doing, bro? I'm good. It's the little things like running into my old friends, like going to the coffee shop, going back to my office. It just feels so right. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. Just this, this is what I miss the most, like having a space that's my space and not just any space, but but this space. Check these guys out, check these guys out. Ah. 
They just sit on like a little wooden, like a little wooden swing. Just like a little wooden plank. Maybe my, um, my favorite part of being back in my office is that I have a new neighbor one flight up. <laughs> I'm locked out of Instagram. You're locked out of Instagram? Yeah. You want me to make a call? Yeah. Everything's a mess. I have nothing. Candace, today's day one. You just kind of hang in there. It's like I'm learning to walk again. Is there anything I can do to help? Bye. Bye. My little ray of sunshine. I've been in this office. I've been in this, this studio for 20 years. What have you done for 20 years that's been the same? What's a constant in your life that's 20 years? I looked up the word muse, the noun muse in the dictionary. Like I, I know what a muse is, I just didn't know that the dictionary definition. A personified force that is the source of inspiration for a creative artist. I have never been so sure of anything as I am that this city is my muse. New York City is my muse, my source of inspiration. Look at that rainbow. Look at that New York City rainbow. Oh. I've, I've never seen that rainbow before. Not in 20 years, I've never seen that rainbow before. Come on.